Hi, I'm John Almerode, and I want to extend a personal invitation to you uh, to come alongside Doug Fisher, Nancy Fry, and me as we unpack how feedback works. Feedback is a common term that we use in schools and classrooms all the time. But do we really understand what is effective feedback? And do we really understand how feedback works to move learning forward? We certainly know how feedback can cause us stress. How do we make sure every student gets the feedback they need? That can be a daunting task. How do we make sure that the feedback we give doesn't burn us out? How do we sustain that type of learning environment? What role do students play in the giving and receiving of feedback? And better yet, how do we get students to take the feedback and integrate it into where they're going next? Or how do we ourselves integrate the feedback we get from them and integrate it into where we go next in our teaching? This is an exciting topic and it has the potential to change the outcomes in our classrooms for the better. But if we're not careful, it can cause us unnecessary stress and may actually be a barrier to that learning. Here's a secret. They're called triggers. And we're going to talk about feedback and how there are certain triggers that cause us to stop receiving feedback and ignoring it. We've all been there. We just don't want to stay there. So come alongside Doug Fisher, Fisher Nancy Fry, and myself as we unpack how feedback works and how to make it work in your classroom, just like we're trying to figure out how to make it work in our classroom.